Now, Professor Makao Mutua, the former dean at Sunny Buffalo Law School, the State University of New York, and an author of several books, including Human Rights Standards, is one of our guests to discuss this in studio. Of course, together with Justice Richard Goldstone, the chairperson of the advisory board of the Coalition for the International Criminal Court. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us here on Bottom Line Africa to have this all-important conversation. Well, just before we... Uh, pick to that. Uh, we, it will be very important for me to just get a reaction from you, Professor. A number of Kenyans are asking what you think about, of course, what we saw in Parliament yesterday that culminated to the President today signing the Finance Bill 2018. Well, first of all, thank you very much for, for having us and yes. for having me here in the studio. I have to say that um, it is not a secret that the country is broke. Um, and the country is broke because of irresponsible spending, and irresponsible planning. Um, I think it's immoral and unethical for any state to tax its own citizens and then loot the taxes for personal gain and personal benefit. I think this is what has happened in Kenya. Um, I think no Kenyan would say that they are opposed to paying taxes, but they want to pay taxes so that that money can be put into good use. And this is not the case. Mm -hmm. So I have to say that um, it's, it's, it's unethical for the government to raise taxes on citizens without fighting corruption. We know that the more we pay, mm -hmm. the more they loot. This is a fact, okay? And so I think, um, I don't understand the haste, uh, you know, with which the, the, the tax um, bill was passed and the, and the haste with which um, uh, Mr. Huru Kenyatta signed, um, you know, the bill. Um, this, I also, I must say that I was shocked to see the spectacle in Parliament yesterday. It was like a zoo. I mean, I thought it was just otherworldly. What kind of Parliament, responsible Parliament, would act like this? Um, and one reads shenanigans uh, in the process of passing this, this, uh, this, this bill. Uh, so, so, just, just to, to, be, to be quite frank with you, I am very disturbed and troubled by this uh, you know, additional uh, burden on Kenyan taxpayers. The conversation um, around corruption is one that the President has as well captured um, when he says that he is now uh, putting up austerity measures to ensure that um, we save as much as we can and we seal these loopholes um, on uh, the wastage of public funds. What are your thoughts? Yeah, but I think uh, when uh, the coalition government uh, left uh, office um, in 2013, uh, our economy was healthy, um, our coffers were full of uh, you know, funds. What has happened in the course of the last five, six years? I think there has been irresponsible spending. And don't forget, it takes two to tango. I think that uh, we've been very, um, we have this voracious appetite uh, for borrowing from countries like China, from the IMF, and from the World Bank. And I think this borrowing is going to, is, has done us in. And so I personally do not know how the average Kenyan is going to cope with this burden. It is highly irresponsible. And I think you might as well write off uh, uh, Mr. Kenyatta's, um, uh, you know, agenda, uh, you know, um, uh, for agenda item. Big for agenda. B big for agenda. You know, how is he going to implement, you know, this agenda without funds? I don't see how it happens. It is terrible. And, and, and I think Kenyans ought to stand up. They ought to condemn the government uh, for driving them into a hole. And they ought to insist that corruption be first among the rank of the things that the government you know, fights. Well, even as we talk about that, what do you think about the war on graft that we are currently witnessing um, with the, uh, a new DPP in office? We've seen several arrests here and there, several investor cases, big high-level cases being investigated. Do you think this will yield fruit for us? You know, I have to say that uh, um, I was the first person to stand up and applaud uh, Mr. Kenyatta's uh, push against corruption. Um, the demolitions were a very you know, welcome sign to see. The arrest of various high-ranking officials was also very welcome to see. But I must say that we've seen too much of this in the past, where people are arrested, where people are you know, paraded before cameras, where charges are read, and people are let off. You know, so I have to say that I, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. 
and I'm waiting to see who is going to go to jail. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you've arrested people. You can do, even do that quietly. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I want to see people arrested. I want to see people convicted. Okay. And then I can, I can applaud uh, the war on corruption. Finally, before we get to the uh, conversation at hand, and that is on the ICC, Kenyans were stunned um, uh, when the opposition announced that they will be supporting the president on this. There's been a general feeling that the opposition this time round yes. did not stand with the common Mwananchi but chose to bed with the government. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think the choices that, that um, you know, um, Mr. Raila Odinga, the, the, the basic principal in NASA had uh, after the debacle of, the last, uh, of, of last year's elections, uh, both in August and in October, um, and the standoff between him and Mr. Kenyatta, I think that standoff was going to end badly for this country. So I applaud both Mr. Kenyatta and Mr. Odinga for coming together um, to lower the temperatures and to heal the wounds. But as I've said before, and I'll say it again, the handshake between Mr. Odinga and Mr. Kenyatta will be for naught, mm -hmm. unless corruption and graft are curtailed and punished without pity, um, you know, unless this borrowing is brought under control, okay, um, and unless we return to, you know, a, the project of national building, which we have not done. I, w I want to believe that uh, the initiative, the Building Bridges Initiative that Mr. Odinga and Mr. Kenyatta have uh, put together uh, is promising, but it is taking too long. Um, I think it is time for them to show us what they've got. It is time for them to, you know, uh, put up or shut up. All right. Thank you.